RazyMoneyTabs.com with an iPhone app video demo for weekly budget and easy way to save money. Track your money spending and income with just a few finger taps using this very easy to use weekly budget planner app. Getting into this finance application, here's what it looks like when you first open it up. This is the main screen. Tap on the bottom right for settings and you can change your weekly budget amount. It's set at 100 by default. Just simply tap on it and you can put in your own amount that you want for your weekly budget. I'm putting 200. You can change the day the week starts on, currency symbol. This app supports a wide number of currencies, a whole bunch. You'll probably find yours there. Use rollover. If you have rollover from your week, you can roll it over into your budget for the next period of seven days. This is a seven-day budget app. And a very nice feature, that red number indicates how much money you have on the top right of your app icon on your actual springboard of your iPhone or iPod Touch. You can see here there's a variety of categories. You can add any new category you like. You can delete categories you don't like. You can have your favorite categories, those you use most often, and all of your created categories will go under My Categories. Also, you can export a variety of ways through email and through iTunes. Now let's jump into the action and add something. I'm gonna add income here, my paycheck for $500. It boosts my budget up by $700 for the week but the week's not over. I'm gonna go in and add some spending. You either have spending, add spending, or add money. It's very simple to do. You put a category, you put a price, and you save this money. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna show you how to edit these different spending changes as well, such as so. Go in, you can change the actual category. I put in utilities, but home, I'm putting under utilities. Electrical works better. Also, you can change the date. You have a nice date picker there, which works very easily. And when you go down into history on the bottom left, you can check your periods by tapping on the arrows in the top right or left to go backward or forward. And you have a bunch of filters at the bottom for date, name, price, and group to see exactly how you're spending your money and how your income is coming in. This app is super simple to use. It's very basic to add any spending or income. It's literally just two taps and a third one to save it. Now I'm gonna go in and add an unexpected repair because I've been good, but now you can see I've gone negative and I'm, o I'm over my budget by $53.72. You could also add some money from your savings to put that as a positive. Maybe add a little more to carry you through the week by putting some more savings in. It's entirely up to you. Or you may just have to go with a deficit for that week. Maybe you don't have the money in your savings. Oh, not that much money, obviously. $200, back it up one. There you go. That is how weekly budget and easy way to save money works. You can export through Excel by email, also through iTunes. And there's another neat feature which I already explained to you. Here's how the icon looks on my springboard. That's the money I have left. That is weekly budget and easy way to save money. You can pick this up in iTunes App Store for 99 cents or using the link in the description below. You can also check out their app monthly budget, which is an easy way to save money on a monthly basis. That's it until next time. Crazy Mike from crazymikesapps.com saying see ya.